投げた打ちましたいい当たりだ入るか入ったさよならホームラン Japanese baseball exists in a weird gap. Even though it's Japan's most popular sport, sumo gets held up as the national sport. That's probably because baseball is a foreign creation, so it can't be considered truly Japanese. But that's nonsense, and the video games reflect just how differently Japan views baseball. In total, the N64 has nine baseball games exclusive to the Japanese market. I've already covered Konami's powerful Pro y a k u series, so let's look at the other four baseball games that make up the biggest group. Of import N64 games. First up, Hudson Soft's 1997 release, Power League 64. This definitely looks and feels like the most standard baseball game of the bunch. It doesn't have artistic style to speak of, nor does it have any defining gameplay features. You can edit players, try for the pennant, or participate in a home run derby, just like every other baseball game. It isn't terrible by any means, but Power League 64's control system is very annoying. It automatically snaps control between infield and outfield, so Quickly, that you're often a mile away from where the ball ultimately lands. The AI plays dirty with no hesitation to pitch the ball straight at the player. Players, by the way, have no faces. In pursuit of realistic graphics, Hudson sacrificed the single most humanizing feature you could give a character. Perhaps it's saved on licensing costs. Power League 64 won't leave any lasting impressions, which might be the most damning thing you can say about a video game. Now we move on to Famista 64, developed by Namco and put out in 1997. Famista is a long running series in Japan, starting back in the Famicom era. Rather than go fully polygonal, Famista 64 blends 3D batting into a baseball field populated by sprites. With the boring baseball part out of the way, we can go to the truly inspired part of the game the single player campaign. On a mission to create a galactic all star team, metal aliens have come to Japan to abduct the nation's best talent. To stop them, you have to recruit members before they get sucked into the alien UFO. They won't come easy though. To add them to your roster, you have to beat them in a mini game. I don't like baseball and only like playing baseball games slightly more, so this was where things got really interesting. Each game has a Mario Party feel to it without ever quite reaching that level of fun. Honestly, if I had to recommend any old Japanese N64 baseball game, I would offer Famista 64 without reservation. That brings us to the Chokukan Night Pro Yaku King series. The first entry, released in 1996, is one of the earliest games for the N64. It set a high bar quite early. It's the best playing baseball game on the system. Only powerful pro Yaku can rival how good it feels to actually play baseball. Yaku King also has a training mode, which I greatly appreciate because I am terrible at playing baseball in video games. I'm also dreadful at playing baseball in real life, but that's not relevant, and I definitely don't have nightmares about high school PE. Anyway, the 1999 sequel, Chokukan Night Pro Yaku King 2, looks mostly the same. A seemingly minor yet significant difference is a little dot that appears a split second before the ball passes the batter. I strike out so often in baseball games because I can't read where the ball is going. With fast enough reflexes, I could consistently hit the ball, and for once, Playing baseball felt satisfying. And that's not something I would say of most sports games. Japanese baseball games get to be a whole lot more than their American counterparts. The big licensed products, kicked out of the door every year by a major American publisher, feel too similar to be of note decades later. Japanese baseball games, however, can really defy expectations and show just how greatly Japanese baseball differs from the American experience. Sometimes you'll get a standard title like Power League 64, but most of the time something stands out, like the alien abductions in Famista 64. The way Japan and America play baseball may look the same, but how the two Cultures think of baseball can be very, very different. Thanks for watching and mahalo.